There are a bunch of WooCommerce custom product tabs, plugins available. Some of them are free and some of them are premium. But what if I tell you that there is no need for a special plugin for it and you can add custom product tabs with the help of small code snippet. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to add global tabs like this one or this one or even this one here. It works in a way that there is a custom tabs under the products menu. You can add global tabs and you can select product categories for this tab to be displayed. Also, if needed, you can add custom tabs for the specific products like this one here. And it appears here. Setting this up is really easy and it's gonna take only a couple of minutes. So if you're interested, then let's jump in. Now in order to make it work, you have two options. First, if you have a team installed, for example, I'm using Bloxy team, then install a child team for this one here, activate it, and then go to the teams file editor, open up functions PHP file, and paste the code I'm gonna show you down below here. Update the file and it works. I don't like this very much because in case I'm gonna change the team, I'm gonna lose all the modifications. Therefore, I'm using the other options. I'm gonna go to the plugins, add new, and I'm gonna search for WP code, this one here. This allows me to add all sorts of code snippets without using a child team. For example, if I go to my code snippets menu, then you'll see I have 15 active snippets, which all do all sorts of stuff. For example, add new button to the Gothenburg header, back to top button for Gothenburg. This one here adds a portfolio custom post type and so on and so forth. But there is also a third option and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a thorough review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. So now let's add a new snippet, add a new, choose add custom snippet, choose PHP snippet, give it a title, for example, custom tab. Next, paste this snippet here, select active, scroll down, location is run everywhere, update it, and after that, you'll see that under the products menu, there is a custom tabs submenu. Now, the snippet I just show you, I'm gonna put the link to this snippet in the video description, so be sure to take a closer look at it. So how does it work? Let's add a new tab, give it the title, for example, global shipping. Next, I'm gonna assign product categories. Let's imagine that I'm gonna add it to all categories. Now I can use Gothenburg to customize the content. Pay attention that it works only with a default Gothenburg blocks. It doesn't work with Spectra, Gadens, Greenshift or any other third party blocks because I wanted to keep it simple. Therefore, it works only with a default blocks. Let's add a column here. Let's choose two columns, add an image. Let's choose this one here. In the second column, let's add something else, for example, heading and some text. Let's publish it. I'm gonna refresh this product here and you'll see there is a global shipping information. It's the first tab. There is another global tab and third global tab. Now, how do you rearrange the position? The most recent tab is displayed as the first one. So if I would like to change the position, I'm gonna just choose the date, this one here. Let's refresh it. And now it's the last one here. Also, you'll see that there is a custom tab option on your single product page. Let's add another one, for example, payments info. Let's add some text and a media file. Let's set the media to full size. It also supports short codes, so I can also add a form here. Update, view the product, payments info. There you go, there's my text, form, and the image I added here. Easy peasy. As you saw, there is nothing difficult here. 
take a look at the description of this video and you'll see there is a link to the code snippet. But before you go and take a look at it, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.